All right, we've been waiting for this story, 544. Parents know ball pits are a fun way for the kids to burn off some energy. That's right, but according to one recent study, they are also full of germs and bacteria. Not really surprising. No. Health reporter Haley Hernandez spoke with doctors on whether it's safe for your kids to jump in. What they did find is that a lot of bacteria can live in uh, these ball pits. Uh, the majority of the bacteria itself were bacteria that you would kind of expect. Uh, bacteria that is normally found on your skin, normally found in your mouth, and some of uh, the bacteria that's found in your gut. Dr. Frank Esper says the majority of bacteria researchers found was what you would expect in an area used by children. For the study, researchers tested ball pits located in various physical therapy clinics. They found a considerable amount of bacteria in all of the locations, some of which could cause potential infection. Dr. Esper says there's an exposure risk in a ball pit, especially when you consider researchers tested ball pits in clinics, whereas ball pits found at restaurant chains or community parks could potentially have even more bacteria. For the most part, he says it's perfectly safe for children to play in ball pits. However, However, if a child has a compromised immune system or they are on medications that reduce their ability to fight off infections, precautions should be taken. Likewise, if a child has an open sore or wound, it's best to stay out of the ball pit to avoid infection. Dr. Esper adds that, like any play area, good hand hygiene is important. Washing your hands uh, before and after jumping in uh, to a ball pit, understanding that they will get exposed to germs in a ball pit just like they will be exposed to germs at any playground facility, uh, and that, uh, that, that it's okay that most of, and nearly everybody who jumps into a ball pit are going to be fine when they come out of the ball pit. it will be fine. Ball pits are also commonly used in pediatric physical therapy to help provide stimulation to children with sensory and motor impairments. But as far as cleaning protocols, that remains elusive. Some clinics may go days, even weeks between cleanings. I'm health reporter Haley Hernandez, KPRC Channel 2 News.